Good morning, y'all. I am making some mango sweet rice for a little breakfast porridge this morning. So in this bowl, I have some leftover sticky rice, sweet rice, sushi rice that we used for making sushi rolls last night. It's going to be great for a little rice porridge this morning. I just need to keep adding water, warming that, getting the right consistency. And to that, I will be adding a cup of frozen mango, some chopped up dates, and some spices. I'm going to do cinnamon, ginger, turmeric, and actually a little black pepper. Black pepper supposedly makes the turmeric like 10 times more available in uh, you get all the health benefits of the turmeric a bit better if you just add a little bit of black pepper. And then I'm going to top this with some coconut flakes and have my little tropical sweet rice breakfast this morning. Contractors are coming later today, yay, which means I get to <laughs> video in peace and quiet in my kitchen. I will be back with what I create for lunch. Probably won't be so quiet then. And dinner, I'll give you a full day of eating and how I'm doing on this plan. That's breakfast. See you soon. Alright y'all. It's lunchtime. I'm having a taco salad. We bought some tons of local fresh greens at our farmer's market, so I've got some lettuces from the local farmer, the last of a big tub of that spring mix. I've got a mixture of corn, black beans, a homemade salsa, which is really kind of just a pico de gallo, red onion, tomato, cilantro, fresh jalapeno, and some lime juice. And then I topped this all with some homemade ranch dressing that I had in the fridge which probably isn't technically on the lean and clean plan because it's tofu based but I gotta be honest with y'all I'm losing some motivation here and I'm just having my ranch dressing <laughs> and I've got a little bit of Tabasco on top of there too I'm going low salt versus no salt I don't think my body can handle no salt but I will talk to you about that a little bit uh, in other parts of this video here is tonight's dinner. It's a made up curry. <laughs> I had an acorn squash that needed to be used up so I roasted up and cubed my acorn squash. I had a big bunch of fresh spinach from our farmer's market which spinach cooks down to nothing. I put the whole bunch in there. A can of chickpeas. Uh, sauteed some onion, carrot, and garlic in the beginning. I had some leftover chopped tomatoes I chucked in there and I found some creamed coconut in the cupboard and some Rogan Josh curry spice from a mix that I would bought from an Indian market a while back. So we're going to give this a try, my chickpea and acorn squash Rogan Josh curry. I'm going to serve this over basmati rice with some chopped fresh cilantro. Hi y'all! Now you've seen what I ate yesterday. I shared all three meals with you. The only other thing I ate was I had two dates as a snack after lunch, I believe. So that was my full day of eating. Now, let's talk about how this lean and clean plan is really going for me. <laughs> I gotta be honest y'all, I am suffering. I was suffering. I think I am suffering. I This plan, it just cuts out so much and I have been detoxing for eight days. Yesterday was day eight, I believe, of being on this program and I was feeling headachey. I had awful headaches. I am not a headache person. I, hard, I never in my life get headaches. It's withdrawal from things. It's detox. So I was having awful headaches. 
absolutely low energy and basically kind of stayed in bed all day long reading. And I mean, we have contractors here and I kind of have to stay in other rooms and keep the pets in other rooms, but it wasn't good. I was feeling awful. I think the bulk of it is the caffeine withdrawal. So where I'm at right now is I am trying to find some balance. Here's the other thing with this program is it works. It works great for weight loss. I can already tell that I have lost some weight. I'm only gonna weigh myself once a month. I think this is a really good plan for me. When I get too involved in the scale, not good. And so the recommendation on the plan is to weigh yourself once a month which my next weigh-in will be May 3rd, my birthday. I started just over 150 pounds on April 3rd. So I'm gonna wait a month, um, but I can tell already. I've lost weight, my body is changing, my body's shape, I'm feeling better about my weight, my clothes are fitting better. Um, so it's working as far as weight loss. It works great. But I need something sustainable. I can't feel like shit every day just to lose weight. <laughs> and I want it to be a lifestyle, something that I sustain long term. So this plan, I kind of abruptly gave up. I'll go through the things. There's, on this plan, there's no sugar, no oil, no salt, no alcohol, no caffeine, no gluten, no soy products, not even an ounce of tofu or a splash of soy milk in anything. Uh, I think those are the main things. Just whole plant foods and the main grains are quinoa, rice, and potatoes. So yeah, I kind of shocked my body with that. <laughs> and now I'm finding I need to adjust. And Simon's, bless him, bless my husband. He has just been going along and eating what I make for meals, and he adds salt at the table. The stuff does taste bland to him. Um, but he's been, you know, just going along and trying to support me, <laughs> so bless him. But we both like a bit more seasoning, so I've already started adding a little bit of salt. You can see from what I ate today that I added a, like a tofu-based creamy ranch dressing, uh, so I'm going to start making minor adjustments so that I feel good while I'm losing weight and that we enjoy the food. I like the fact that Hannah says that if you have a meal off plan or especially when you're trying to lose weight, maybe if you're about 95% on plan and then at maintenance like 90% following this whole food plan, then you're good. It's fine. Don't stress about it. I haven't really had a meal completely off plan yet uh, but I'm glad and I won't I won't stress about it when I do but I'm I need to make some tweaks in the day-to-day -day eating while trying to get some weight off and feel better so today this morning I had a cup of black tea with soy milk which I had been drinking a lot of coffee and I love those vegan coffee creamers like the Silk French Vanilla. I'm willing to give that up, but I have, for some reason, it helps my brain, it helps me not feel sluggish to have a little bit of caffeine in the morning. So I'm not gonna stress about black tea, green tea, and even like one cup of coffee in the morning. So this morning I had one cup of black tea and some soy milk, and I feel better. I have a bit of energy. Um, getting moving today. I don't have any headache. We're also already starting to add a bit of salt. I will probably add a bit of soy products. And I'm just going to make these adjustments and see how it goes with clothes fitting better, body feeling better, weight loss. If I make an adjustment and then I start to feel like I'm not losing weight again, then I'll reconsider that. But a little bit of tea or coffee and a little bit of soy product at home. That's where I'm at. 
making some adjustments, trying to make this sustainable weight loss for me. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're trying to follow this sort of plan or any sort of whole food weight loss plan, feel free to share your comments, frustrations. Uh, I'll try to help out in any way you can. If you like these videos, if you like any of my videos, please feel free to subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up. You're going to be hearing more of the healthy weight loss for quite a while. I have like 25 pounds that I want to lose. I'll see you in the next video. Maybe I'll do another video of what I'm eating after I've made some adjustments. I'd be happy to share that with y'all. I am going to shop for the next grocery shop I do. I am going to shop for the week two of this Lean and Clean plan. But I'll also be thinking about adjustments to make it sustainable for me and Simon and our lifestyle. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.